Joining us now, somebody who will be attending President Biden's address tonight and knows a thing or two about the border and uh, intelligence issues, too. We bring in Congressman Michael McCall, ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman Michael, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, apropos of nothing. Thanks, Larry. Good to be here. Uh, yes, wonderful to see you. Apropos of almost nothing, sir, can you just give us um, a, ra a quickie on the John Kerry situation, leaking intel plans to the Iranian foreign minister? I know you're up in arms over it. You want an investigation. Um, what happened today, if anything, on this topic? We need to get all the facts on this, Larry. I mean, the idea of the, the former Secretary of State meeting with the foreign minister of Iran, they are a foreign nation adversary, as you know, an enemy of the United States. And while, you know, Secretary Pompeo, uh, when you were in the White House, is trying to do the maximum pressure campaign, you have uh, former Secretary Kerry meeting with the enemy. Mm. Uh, not only that, but discussing, allegedly, we have to get all the facts, uh, you know, classified information about some, you know, allegations of Israel attacking Iranian proxies in Syria. This would be giving uh, uh, aid to the enemy. Uh, we do have, have laws on this, as we do on the handling of classified information. So uh, I will, uh, I'm certainly going to be following up on this story. All right. Appreciate that wrap up. I mean, he denies everything. And these are very, um, these are very lofty charges. So I guess we'll have to see about an investigation. But he's certainly been called on the carpet. Uh, now, Congressman, on the other issue of the open borders, where the country is opposed to Mr. Biden's uh, policies, kind of a reversal of Mr. Trump's policies, uh, how do you see this? Because it just doesn't seem to me like anything much is changing. And that is of great concern to me. You know, it, it was a foreign policy blunder. It, 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 first day in office with the stroke of a pen, uh, President Biden rescinded the Remain in Mexico policy and these asylum cooperation agreements we have with Central America, which was a very masterfully negotiated, uh, you know, agreement uh, with both Central America and Mexico. And it was working. And I think uh, President Biden just rescinded it because it, it had Trump's name on it, not really knowing what he was doing. And now the genie's out of the bottle. It cannot be reversed until, until these policies are reversed. And I've seen no appetite by the current administration to do that. This was working. It's very sad, Larry. I, I was also chairman of Homeland Security, a federal prosecutor down there. You know, I've been to the border so many times. This is the worst crisis I've ever seen down there, particularly humanitarian when I go to the Donna detention facility and see these little children without their parents because their parents gave them to the traffickers. And guess who's winning, Larry? The traffickers making 15 million a day, half a billion dollars a month. And it's not going to let up until we reverse these policies. You know, having rescinded the policies of, of Trump, essentially reversing them, as you say, I don't see what their next step is. I don't see them doing anything. In other words, they're fiddling around with a refugee cap. All right. Uh, so mm -hmm. they've lowered the cap from initial expectations. But I don't know what any of that means. It's not about our caps. It's about people crossing the border. And then instead of deporting them, we release them into the um, internal United States. So what's happening? I mean, will Biden address this tonight, for example? Oh, I think he wants to stay away from this as far as he can. I mean, he, as you indicated, uh, this is where he pulls the worst. Uh, you know, his numbers are going down because of this issue. It's why he hasn't visited the border. It's why Kamala Harris won't go down to the border. They don't want to, the optics of being seen at this Donna detention facility with all these children, uh, really in violation of CDC guidelines, by the way. Uh, uh, I, I uh, do not anticipate, other than maybe talking about Central America getting to the root cause of the problem, I'm all for, you know, private investment down there to, to uplift the economies of scale to stop this at the root cause. But uh, I'm, I'm telling you, Larry, they, I've, I've followed this issue for so long and they just really blew it. Um, I, if they want to go back and renegotiate and call it whatever they want. But as you know, Secretary Pompeo went down there and negotiated these agreements where they, they had to remain in Mexico pending their asylum claims or third safe country. Uh, in, in Central America, and that prevented them, that stopped about 85% of the, the cases coming in to the United States. Once they're in the United States, these children are given to HHS, mm. and, and quite frankly, Border Patrol is demoralized, 
And when I ask them what was a direct cause and effect, they, it's not seasonal, as the Democrats right. would tell you. Right. It is the reversal of these policies. Did they underfund border control, for example, that, like they underfunded the Pentagon? But Homeland Security is, of course, a national security agency, too, in most respects. Has that been underfunded, too? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so. And I, I think, you know, President Trump brought focus on the border, you know, and people debated about the effectiveness of the wall. Border Patrol will tell you it's working there. We need the technology and aviation assets as well. Uh, but again, um, as you know, uh, Congress can't seem to fix this problem, right? So he was able to go around what Congress has done. Uh, set up these asylum cooperation agreements, which stop the, the flow of migrants. Once the reversal happened, the traffickers saw a green light. They knew um, it was open for business right. in America again. And, and that's where they're making all this money. And they're the ones winning and the children are the losers. And the drug cartels. Of course, they are the traffickers, I suppose. They um, are the traffickers. Congressman yeah. Michael McCall, thank you, sir. Appreciate your input very, very much.